Hello and welcome to the Auto Traders Studio, where today I'll be taking you through 10 things that you need to know about the new Mercedes Benz GLB. It's based on the FMA2 architecture, so it's the second generation of the Mercedes Benz front wheel drive architecture. Now, the GLB is one of six products sold in South Africa that's based on this same front wheel drive architecture. The first of which was the new A Class, followed by the CLA, followed by the A Class sedan. Then we had the GLA, the B Class, and of course, the GLB. So, quite a ubiquitous platform, but the GLB is the largest model within the range to be based on this architecture. Now, in terms of its proportions, it's a lot more boxy than a GLA, and it looks a lot more like a small or scaled down version of the larger GLS SUV. So whereas the smaller Mercedes-Benz premium products are sort of more rounded and more A-class-like in their appearance, the GLB is most certainly more like the rest of the larger Mercedes-Benz SUV family. The GLB lineup consists of four models, two of which are diesel and two of which are petrol. Now, the 220D is available in a standard and an AMG line, as is the 250, which is available in an AMG line too. Now, the key differences between the models are, aside from being petrol and diesel, of course, is the diesel models are only available with the 4MATIC all-wheel drive system, whereas the 250 models have got front-wheel drive only. All models, however, get an eight-speed dual-clutch transmission. The two models within the range both displace two liters, as I mentioned, paired with an eight-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. Now, the diesel model having four-wheel drive gets from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in a claimed 7.6 seconds and will consume fuel at a rate of 5.5 liters per 100 kilometers. Now, the petrol model is slightly faster to 100, getting there in a claimed 7.1 seconds, but consuming fuel at a higher rate of seven liters per 100 kilometers. It's well connected too. This particular model is fitted with the energizing package, which includes things like ambient lighting and the two 10.25 inch infotainment screens. One that takes care of the digital instrument cluster, the other takes care of your infotainment system, which includes niceties such as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It also has the personal assistant, and I'm not saying the word Mercedes because it's gonna speak How to me. How can I help you? <laughs> Having spoken about things like the energizing package, I have to bring up the elephant in the room with any premium product, and that is how the specification can inflate the price tag dramatically. I was sitting on the online configurator recently, and the GLB that I specified came up to over 1 million Rand. So I have to tell you, if you're specifying one of these cars, exercise caution with how many options you tick, because the price can inflate quite dramatically. The GLB is safe too. It was tested by the Euro NCAP New Car Assessment Program, which is considered the gold standard by which cars are crash tested. Now, when tested in 2019, the GLB achieved the maximum five-star rating, including 92% for adult occupant safety, 88% for child occupant safety, and an impressive 78% for pedestrian safety. Being the largest within the current compact Mercedes-Benz lineup, the GLB offers an impressive 565 liters of luggage space. It also offers seating for seven. So if you pull this lever here, you see, we can secure one of the third row seats. Now you can also fold the second row of seats, which gives you 1,800 liters of loading space. The GLB range offers a stowable tow bar option, which is activated with this button over here. Clips down, you just pull over here, that secures your tow bar, which also provides 2,000 kilos of brake towing capacity in all models. The GLB range has been strategically priced between the larger GLC range and the smaller GLA range, coming in between 840 and 900,000 Rand. So there you have it. That's 10 things that you need to know about the new Mercedes-Benz GLB. Let us know what you think about the GLB in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Auto Trader YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.